Hi, my name's Ben. I'm a communications officer with St John Ambulance and I've been in this role for about eight years. So our main role is communications officers in the State Operations Centre. We take uh, ambulance triple zero calls as well as non-urgent calls and help people with first aid advice prior to ambulances arriving. Some of the enjoyable parts about being a comms officer is just being able to help people in the community when they ring in and we do that throughout the whole of WA and it's 24 hours, seven days a week. So the sort of person that would make a good comms officer is someone who can relate to people from all different walks of life, ages, ethnicities, backgrounds. You need to be able to stay calm under pressure, multitask. If you can work, work well as a group and just get on with people and be able to you know, visualise what's, what's happening with people down the phone and uh, stay calm under pressure, then that's what's going to make a good comms officer. Even though it is a, a very high pressure environment and uh, we do get obviously very serious calls, there is obviously occasionally a few lighter moments and one of those is certainly a call we received from someone who was reporting an assault and the weapon used was a frozen chicken. So there's certainly not all, all doom and gloom and the, the patient was definitely safely got off to hospital and all was well. So to anyone thinking of applying for a role as a communications officer, I would say it's incredibly challenging, it can be very hard work so intellectually and emotionally, but it can also be a really, really rewarding role. So anyone who thinks they're, they're up to the challenge, it's really worth applying and give it a go.